spend a lot of time traveling, spend a lot of time in hotels, and as a result of it, I watch a lot of TV. And I think the saddest commercial out there has to be the SPCA Sarah McLaughlin <laughs> ad. Seen it? With the fucked up animals? Can I tell you a secret about this commercial? It knows when you're alone. <laughs> Do you ever notice it only comes on when you're by yourself, maybe you're drunk, you're vulnerable, right? <laughs> and what's crazy is at first, yes, you are sad for the animals. But the longer you watch it, the longer your sadness kind of begins to turn on you, and by the end of it, somehow you just feel really bad for yourself. <laughs> you're sitting there like, oh my that cat doesn't have a face. I don't know. I feel so bad for him, and I feel so bad for his cat family, and I feel so bad for me. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do? What should I do? I should, I should, I should get a cat. So you get a cat. But because he's from the SPCA, like, let's be honest, he's all like fucked up and autistic. Just shits everywhere. Like, oh my God, what did you eat? goes through your stuff, he only eats the buttons off your good sweaters. You're like, how did you know to go for the good sweaters? Why don't you go for the crappy sweaters? Why do you have such exquisite taste? <laughs> Gotta get rid of him, because he's ruining everything. But what do you do? You can't kill him, because, because that's fucking insane, I guess. <laughs> but you gotta get rid of him, so what do you do? I'm gonna tell you. You put Kitty in the car, you drive him to a neighborhood he doesn't know. <laughs> you let him out of the car. Don't worry, the SPCA will find that cat. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, they're in the business of secondhand cattery. <laughs> they find the cat, they clean him off, they update his resume. <laughs> he gets a job managing like a Chipotle. He's fine, all right? <laughs> so in honor of that commercial, I have a treat for you guys. This is my cat. <laughs> it's my dog Blanche, and I adopted her. And sometimes when you adopt an animal, you don't know their backstory. So for Blanche, I made one up. In, in my house, we pretend that Blanche used to be a dog prostitute. <laughs> 